This is the video solution to Bernoulli example problem number three. You're driving down the road at 70 miles per hour and stick your hand out the window. Your hand is perpendicular to the wind. The area of your hand is 400 centimeters squared. How much force is exerted on your hand? Okay, so here's your hand. And the car is going from right to left. So there's the arrow for the car. And the wind, that means the wind is going relative to your hand into the palm of your hand in this case. So the wind velocity behind your hand is zero. And that's kind of the assumption you've got to realize that where the wind is going, it's got one velocity, the car's velocity. And on behind your hand, there's no velocity at all. So that's important to make sure you get that straight. And we have two sides. I'll call them number side one, which were the wind side, and number two, where there's no wind. So if I look at the givens, I've got the V1 going into my hand at 70 miles per hour, which is 120.701 meters per second. Behind my hand, the air is still, so that's zero. Now, in reality, there's a lot of turbulence there, and it's just not this simple of a calculation. But for us, it is this simple. The area is uh, 400 centimeters, which is 0.04 meters squared. And the density of air is 1.29 kilograms per meter cubed. To solve this, this is kind of a nice equation compared to our others. It's a straightforward Bernoulli equation this time. So P1 is equal to 1 half rho V squared plus rho GH on side 1, and P2 plus 1 half rho V2 squared plus rho, G, or rho H2 for side 2. Now if I look at this, the height on both sides of the hand is the same. So that means that that's just going to go away. Nice. And then I've got P1 plus 1 half rho V squared equals P2. So when I'm looking at this on the back side, I didn't have any wind velocity. So V2 is going to go away to 0. So that's going to leave our equation. And what I need to do is look at the gauge pressure. Because it's the gauge pressure that applies the forces that we feel. So I've got pressure on the back side of my hand, pressure on the front side of my hand. And the difference in those two pressures, which is the gauge pressure, that's the force that I'm going to feel. So the gauge pressure is P1 minus P2. So I'll rearrange it for P1 minus P2. That's 1 half rho V squared. Remember, too, that if I do this, the gauge pressure is equal to force over area. That's what I'm after. So the area is just multiplied by that gauge pressure, and that equals the force. But I've got the equation for the gauge pressure to be 1 half rho V1 squared. So I'm going to replace P1 minus P2 with 1 half rho V1 squared. Next, I'll throw in all my numbers that I know, do a little bit of math, and I get the force on the wind side of my hand to be 375 newtons.